everyone and welcome. Today is day 19 of the 2024 National Poetry Writing Month workshop series by me, Sincerely Blue Jay or M. Renee. Um, so hello and welcome. This is not airing on the 19th because I got a cold and life happens and we're going to catch up. And so days 19 through 23 are going to be recorded right now in this sitting and we're going to get them out and all the information to you. And then tomorrow everything will go back to being daily like it was prior. This is a quick reminder that life happens, things come up. You are still a winner however you get 30 poems out, whether they are all on day one, all on day 30, or one every day, or however else you want to play with it. So you are still a winner. You are still doing a fantastic job. Thank you for your patience with me. I needed to take the time to rest and heal so that I can be here and give us a final hurrah and do all the things in the best proper way for us, for me, for you, all of it. So thank you for your patience. Today, we are going to look at Blitz Poetry, which is accredited to Robert Keem, and from what I can tell, the started in like 2007-2008. I owe Neil Hilborn for my knowledge of these poems and this style, so of course, shout out to him, and there's an incredible poetry workshop called Writing Circle every Wednesday, hosted by Neil, if you want to check it out, and it's only $25 for 10 weeks, so that is a killer opportunity to learn from one of the best in the business, quite literally. Um, or you can keep learning from me here, uh, or do both, however you want to do that. So yes, we're going to look at Blitz poems. These are 50 line poems with repetition in a really interesting way. So the first two lines start with the same word. And then the third and fourth line both start with the last word of the second line. And then the fifth and sixth both start with the last word of the fourth line, and so on and so on, all the way down. And then when you get to the end, um, your 49th line starts with the last word from your 48th line, and your 50th starts with your first line. <laughs> so it's full circle. And these are really short lines because the only pausing in this poem is quite literally when you need to breathe. So I'm going to read you two of my examples that I'm really proud of, really freaking proud of. I'm going to read you one from Robert Keem, and then I'm going to hope that the pattern is apparent to you and you are able to get this out. There are a couple of more specific rules if you want to go by the Robert Keem version, and then there's more of the like common blitz poems that are what we're looking at. If you want to take it a step further, there's a little more information out there, and I will try to include that after the Robert Keem example. So, this is our first Blitz, untitled by Sincerely Blue Jay. Someday you will heal. Someday you will understand. Understand everything. Understand everyone. Everyone wants you. Everyone needs everything. Everything you're scrap scraping for. Everything you're holding on by a thread. Thread the needle. Thread your thoughts through. Through the minefield. Through the graveyard. Graveyard of artistry. Graveyard of dreams. Dreams pieced together. Dreams wild and rare. Rare moment of clarity. Rare second alone. Alone at my own party. Alone with too many thoughts. Thoughts running free. Thoughts on a train. Train to nowhere. Train of lies. Lies spinning spinning spun lies starting little fires fires we can't see fires we can't put out out of sight out of mind mind your own business mind your manners manners for forgotten manners misplaced misplaced memories misplaced faith faith watered down faith escaped escaped intensity escaped es escapades escapades to morocco escapades to freedom freedom marketed as possibility freedom just can codename fear fear cascading every line fear exists so purely pure promise pure potential potentially someday someday heal and then this next example of mine is included in my poetry book how many drafts to home which came out last august and if you want a fun fact about that all of the poems in that were actually written during national poetry month last year and then the turnaround on that book was insane it came out in august so that was really cool Okay, uh, anyway, this is my second example. Shake the dust, shake it off, off of your chest, off of your hands, hands of red, hands leathery rough, rough and ageless, rough and worn, worn through floorboards, worn and holy, holy shirts and holy water-soaked skin, skin red and warm, skin cracked and peeling, peeling oranges, peeling potatoes for dinner, dinner with family, dinner of scraps, scraps of memory, scraps of yesterday, yesterday aches again, 
Yesterday is forgotten, forgotten like birthdays, forgotten fruit, molding, molding hopes, molding strawberry slices, slices of inheritance, slices of information, information watered down, information abused, abused and forgotten, abused and aching, aching limbs, aching tree trunks sturdy, sturdy beliefs, sturdy promises, promises twisted, promises broken, broken photo frames, broken family, family isn't everything, family can be chosen. Chosen, cho chosen hope and faith, chosen understanding, understanding is whole, understanding a dream, dreams well and grow, dreams always shake. Um, I was going to tell you something else about, oh, um, so when I write these, I go ahead and I number my lines 1 through 50, and that makes it really easy for me to see where my patterns are going to be and how to make that work. Okay. So, that being said, oh, my little light is going to die. Okay, that being said, let's read the Robert Keem one, and I will tell you about the last little rule if you want to go that route. So, this is Bucket of Poetry by Robert Keem. Kick the can, kick the bucket, bucket of chum, bucket of worms, worms in the dirt, worms in my brain, brain in my head, brains in my book, book of lies, book of secrets, secrets in the chain in the chambers of the human heart, secrets in the diary of my teenage sister, sister of mercy, sister in habit, habit of swearing, habit of smoking, smoking guns, smoking outside, outside of the box, outside of what is normal, normal people, normal days, days and nights, days upon days, days of storms, days of no power, power to the people, power over people, people need who need people, people on the street, streets of Philadelphia, streets sweeping, sweeping under the rug, sweeping her off her feet, feet grinding your face, feet sweating in old shoes, shoes for the homeless, shoes for rich women, women who want, women who need, need a change of scenery, need to stop, stop needing, stop reading, reading poetry, reading poetry, poetry takes, poetry gives, gives, takes. So the last little rule is that the title must only be three words and there needs to be some kind of preposition or conjunction joining the first word from the third line to the first word of the 47th line. Um, and there should also be no punctuation in this poem. So, yeah, lots of crazy, crazy rules and patterns, um, but these are really fun. I personally love writing these when I've got a lot on my brain and, and I don't know how it's going to come out. It's a great starting point. And also, I really like these when I'm not sure what I want to write because I can use cliches and then I can use the pattern to get somewhere else from those cliches. And they work really nicely and really wonderfully. So happy writing, everyone. Good luck. I can't wait to see your Blitz poems. I really love these and I just, I can't wait. Um, and I'll see you again in a few seconds or tomorrow, depending on how you want to use this for day 20. Bye for now.